Hey, Jenny Lakeman here. In this video, I'm going to walk you through how to embed your podcast and post your podcast from Libsyn onto your WordPress website. So the first thing you want to do is log into Libsyn. And um, actually, what we're going to do first is set up a couple of settings. And you only need to do this part once. And then um, the next time you go to load a podcast, it'll already be in here. So what you'll do is you'll hover over settings and you'll go to um, color swatches. And then you want to add a swatch. So I've actually got a couple in here already for this client. I'm going to remove them just so that I can show you um, how to add them. So what you do is you want to click add a swatch and you'll pull up your brand style guide, which um, if you don't have one of these yet, I highly recommend it. It just really helps you to be consistent um, visually across all of your digital platforms. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a couple of color swatches to this client's palette so that she can have these to customize her, her podcast embed um, so that it matches her brand. All right. So you'll copy that hex code color and I'm going to just paste it in here. No, it's not pasting right. Let's see, I might need to manually type it in. I'm going to drag this to my other screen so that I can type this in. F6C, E76. All right, that looks right. I'm going to click OK, and then I'm just going to call it the yellow from her palette. Click Save. And then I'm going to add a couple more because um, this is, so this is the call to action color on her site, but sometimes bright colors don't show up as well as I want them to on this embed. So I'm going to add a couple more, um, maybe just the, the dark blue color from her palette. 21315A, dark blue. You know, that's probably enough for now. So um, we've got her color, her color swatches added. And then the next thing you're going to do is you're going to go to content. And um, if you want to get the embed code for a, po a podcast that's already been published, you'll click on previously published. If you want to get an embed code for one that's just a podcast episode that's just scheduled to be published, you'll click, click on scheduled for release. So those aren't available publicly yet. I'm going to just go ahead and click on scheduled for release because I know that she's got one that's pending right now. So what you're going to do is you're going to click on link slash embed. And this is all the embed code information. What you're going to do is click on custom. And then you can leave everything the same except the custom color. Um, you want to change that um, to be her custom code. Let me see. There should be a way to customize this. It's not bringing up the custom code here. Hold on, I'm going to try this again. Go click custom. Okay. Gonna close and refresh. Maybe it just hasn't brought in those color swatches yet. Go back to color swatches. Yep, those are there. I'm gonna go back to scheduled for release. Embed code. Okay, it's supposed to bring up the color swatches <laughs> that I used there. Um, and then I can customize the embed with those color swatches, but it's not. So what I'm gonna do instead is I'm just gonna manually type in the color swatch. You shouldn't need to do this though. It should um, bring them in. Okay, then you can click embed code. Now you see that the color is um, the blue, the dark blue is showing up in her embed code, which is what we want. So it's just a little detail and don't stress about these things. It's just a nice little touch that I use for my clients for some reason. It's supposed to have a button that you can, a little like toggle, you can click here to choose one of those color swatches that you added. So if it doesn't, you can always just type it in. All right, now I've got the embed code. I'm going to log into the WordPress website where I want to put this code. I'm going to go to posts, click add new. And then we're going to um, put in our title for the post, which in this case I think was episode 39. Um, lens number one, I am right. And then I'm going to add an HTML block and paste in that embed code that I just um, copied from Libsyn. And then I'm also going to add a paragraph and I'm going to go click on more and details. And I'm going to copy the description from the podcast. You can write something longer if you want to. This is just what I do for my clients so that when people come to this, um, to listen to the podcast on their site, they have a little bit of context. 
Um, and then let's go back to document. I want to make sure my client is the author. I'm going to edit the date to publish. I think she's having it published tomorrow. So I'm going to set the date and time for that. And then I'm going to add the featured image to be the client's podcast thumbnail. Now, in this case, I've already loaded it up here, but you can click upload files and select the files to find the podcast thumbnail for this podcast. So I'm going to click on that one, set the featured image, and then we can go ahead and schedule it. Now, the only other thing that we'll want to do after we've scheduled is edit the um, post URL. So I'm going to actually exit that and then I'm going to click on the title and I'm going to click edit the permalink because I don't actually want to have this EP number right there. I don't think that it makes for a very nice URL, which is what appears in the address bar. Um, so I'm just going to save that and then I'm going to schedule it again to make sure that it saves my changes. And that, my friends, is how you edit a Libsyn um, or add a Libsyn embed code to a website. And, you know, if if you have trouble with the color swatches here, you see that I did. That might just be a buggy thing with Libsyn. Don't stress about stuff like that because it doesn't really matter. <laughs> it just makes it look a little bit nicer. That's all. All right. That's what I've got for you today. Um, if you want help with content creation for your podcast, I actually have a content creation framework. I'll link it below this video. It's it just is something it's a tool I use to make sure that my any any content I'm sharing with um, in my marketing efforts, whether it be podcast or a blog or an email is really going to be valuable to my readers and my listeners. So go check that out. And if this was useful, go ahead and subscribe to my channel to get future tips to help up level your coaching business.